Check, Annie. Check, check. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Doll Space. Today, we're in a fun new location, which is my parents' atrium. Would you call this an atrium? I would now. Sure. Yeah. If you had asked me before what this... I honestly would have said vestibule, which is like no. a word I used with you the other day, and you were like... I was like, oh, I was in your little vestibule. Okay. And you were like, what? No, do you know why I said what? Because a vestibule to me is... Do you remember the episode of Friends where Chandler is stuck in a vestibule with that model? Yes. Okay. The vestibule to me is in between two things. So like, you know, when you walk into the bank... He's, I'm yes. stuck in an ATM yes. vestibule. Like, it's like you walk into the bank, there's a little area. I guess that's why this to me is vestibule-esque. Like, I get it's a patio. Right. As long as you get that. Where get, What, what was it. my vestibule you were talking about at my condo? I really just... Do you met hallway? hallway? Yeah. Yes. That could not be a vestibule. <laughs> no. Okay. That's why I was wondering. I was like, did you mean like in my lobby? Right. Like when I was like, why would she say vestibule yeah, instead I don't of hallway? Why. Yeah. It was really just your like entryway. Yeah. Okay, great. Anyway. Now we know. But yeah, this is totally an atrium because it's closed in now. Yeah. It's this, greenhouse-esque. Yes. This is a greenhouse. We're recording it's from so a greenhouse. Beautiful. If you and guys are watching this. the heat is on? The heat is on. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you took your shirt off, right? Yeah. I'm definitely hot. I, oh, yeah. Annie's topless for our audio <laughs> listeners. <laughs> that's why I took my shirt off. Um, no, I didn't know if, uh, if maybe it was the greenhouse effect. No, it's this heater right above my head. Mm, it's a beautiful day today. Beautiful day today. And we hope you're all having a great day. Sorry, today's episode is out a little late. It's Annie's fault. She oh, completely. <laughs> entirely. Stop. I no. was throwing you under the bus, but I thought you'd defend yourself a little bit. No, it's no. all my fault. I've been a busy girl this week. Yes, very busy. And we've really, if you've noticed, we've been really recording in Toronto lately. Yes. Because I've had so many appointments. For wedding, your upcoming nuptials. Wedding season. Uh, yeah, every week I've pretty much been coming to Toronto, so we're like, kind of like, why don't we just mix in recording rather yeah. than Sam coming to St. Catharines? So yeah, and yeah. today I gotta get on the highway, so, and Sam was uptown, so we said, let's record in Let's your record vestibule. at mommy and daddy's house, for sure, because also I have a cleaner at my house. And oh, yeah. not for anything, I, like, honestly guys, once you start hiring a cleaner, you won't stop. It's like the best fucking thing in the world, except my cleaner... Mm-hmm. This is going to sound from you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, she's fucking dope. But she takes, like, I think you could put her in a 900 square foot apartment or you could put her in a 3,000 square foot house. She will take 10 hours. Oh my God. And she doesn't want you in there. So right. it's like, I am I love her, so I shan't get rid of her. But, but that's every time, oh, I'm out of the house all day. Like, I literally come up here and just chill because she'll take. Does she charge per hour? No. No, okay, that's what's good. weird about yeah. it. I'm like, you don't need to take your time like this. Right. Like, you're getting the same amount regardless. How and she's often not does cheap. She come? Once a month. That's perfect. Yeah, but usually yeah. she'll come on a Saturday and I'll be like in St. Catharines or I'll make it so it's like, right. whatever, on a day that I'm out of town anyway. But like, oh, hold on, my mom's home if you are noticing that my dog oh, is at the door here. okay sorry about that my mom just got home we had to take a quick intermission um anyway <laughs> crazy what were we talking <laughs> cleaners, about cleaners <laughs> cleaners be crazy cleaners be taking cleaners a be time. taking a long time I, I think she's still in my house she got there at 10 a.m it oh is now God. two i think she's still there i haven't gotten it she usually texts me when she leaves like i think she's still there wow. she might be there till fucking three or four i don't know what she's doing Oh my god! Rolling around in my bed like a little pig maybe go for it honestly taking just, a little tour of the CN Tower and coming back? <laughs> coming back on my dime? Sure, whatever. Well, I guess we're paying her the same amount. Exactly. Do what you that's... do whatever you want. Yeah, when my reno's done, I'm doing that. I'm getting a once a month. Oh, cleaner. get one. It's the fucking bomb. Yeah. It's like a cost that really cannot it's priceless. Yeah. Except it's not. <laughs> Except it's quite expensive. <laughs> quite expensive. Well, no, I think my girl is especially expensive, but I use her because my aunt uses her. Yeah. Well, nothing like a referral. Yeah, nothing like it. Anyway, what were we going to talk about in this intro? I feel like I have so much at top of mind and yet nothing I want to share on the pod, unfortunately. <laughs> Annie's had a week of secrets because she's doing a bunch of stuff for her wedding. Just yeah, a week of secrets that no one of. is allowed to know at this point. And just like random, yeah, like grievances that I Grievances? Just yeah, like there's something going on with... Oh, I didn't even tell you this. Oh. There's just, there's something going on with my videographer. No. That I don't know that I want to share yet because okay because I we might, might hammer either. them or we might yeah exactly like so oh, let's just leave that there okay and we'll let you know if that 
if it becomes a dress if gate we start part to two. oh my god by the way there is a dress gate part two <gasps> yes oh yes and i need to also message her because i asked my dad and he was very much like i wouldn't be scared good if i were her Okay, so guys, Dressgate part two, I'm going to let Annie tell it because she has a better grasp on what happened here. But basically, I don't know if you remember last episode, we talked about Avenue 22 Bridal and how they fucked over our friend from high school (laughs) and then basically sent her a cease and desist and said, you cannot post this video, like you have to take this video down. And then if you take the video down, we'll give you the money back for the dress that we completely botched. She does that. She signs the thing. She takes the video down. But She reposted our doll space clip from last week. Is that correct? Yeah, I think it was she reposted that and she might have also reposted your video Uh where like her stitch is at the beginning. Right. Which I think could maybe be the most problematic. Right. But yeah, she messaged us. I mean, hopefully we can keep talking about it. What's going to happen? These people are not doing shit. They're fucking losers. If you thought Avenue 22 were losers before, just wait. Yeah. So they emailed her. Basically saying, like, you reposted this video, you breached our contract, and basically threatened her. The end of the email gave us chills. What did it say? Like, govern yourself. Kindly govern yourself accordingly. Which I read the thing to my dad, and I was like, isn't that a crazy way to sign off? And he's like, no, that's exactly what lawyers say. Like, he's like, that's, he's like, I would always say, he's like, I never said kindly, but I would be like, govern yourself accordingly. Please govern yourself accordingly. I was like, oh. Dad. He said it sounded like. Oh, just so legalese. you know, Annie's dad is a judge yeah. and therefore was a lawyer. And was a lawyer. Yeah. But he said it sounded like it was just like. They Sounds like they texted a, a friend he who said was it's a lawyer. pretty much a form letter. Like yeah. he said it's not like that's just a standard whatever. And he said her response was incredible because so they emailed her this basically threatening her like we'll take legal proceedings if you continue to like. Un- talk about this yeah and they also said take the repost down yeah which undo was- the repost and and take your comments off of our video and her comments she never says anything about the the store she never mm-hmm. says the store name she just like is reacting to people's comments which she's allowed to do yeah like- the, also this contract for the record was like a word document thing that basically like it was not like written by anybody high and the whole thing with contracts it's like it is all in the wording like you yeah. don't get to be like, well, that's what I meant. It's like, no, what's in the contract? So they said, you can't make any, you have to delete this video and you can't make any more videos. Talking about it. About it. But she's it didn't like, say, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. She's like, video. I didn't. I reposted videos that yeah. other people made talking about it, which yeah. is absolutely fine. Yeah. So anyway, they send her this crazy two page email being like, we gave you your money back. Like they honestly sounded like a little kid, like mm-hmm. a bullying little kid. They're like, we gave you your fucking money back. And then this is what you do to us. You repost all these videos and blah, blah, blah. Like, why don't you, instead of focusing on our store, why don't you focus on your upcoming wedding? First of all, that's yeah. the thing they said. Like, meow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> why? It's like, okay, bitch, who wrote this? Like a catty I know. asshole. Like, and then, um, and then they were and then they ended it with govern yourself accordingly. And then she sent us that and then she sent us her response, which Annie. Oh, it was so epic. I was so proud of her. Like she was just like and my dad said the one thing that was really good about it, too, is that she listed what they did wrong. Yeah. So he said if they sent her if they sent her response to a lawyer, they'd be like, what do you want us to do? Like she yeah. said, I did this. Like, this is how I did comply with it. Yeah. And these are the things I did that that you didn't say I couldn't do. Yes. So she really listed out. She had her arguments r- done really well. And then she said, like, please don't worry about me focusing on my wedding. Like, I'm doing great. I got a free dress. Yeah. I'm like, I'm thriving. And why don't you focus on building back your business? That yeah. has taken a serious hit. Yeah. And, and she said, like, rebuilding your I brand. I seriously hope you have learned from this issue. But she said, which... I, I'm guessing you haven't based on this insane email. You've sent yeah. Me. Like you, the fact that you're still coming for me for this. And she also said at the beginning of it, she's like, listen, when she was listing the things that she already complied with, she was like, listen, you already sent me an insane request, which was to delete my TikTok yeah, in order in, for you in to, exchange for in exchange money. for money, which is a refund I was owed. And, um, that was already crazy. And I cannot believe you're still emailing me about it. Yeah. Like, they should shut up. Yeah. And she was like, do not threaten me. Like, yeah. yeah. And she was like, sorry, you didn't realize that I had Paul, I have Paul on the yeah. internet. 
Exactly. So fuck you. They're just salty because we got a million views. Yeah. And you know what else? If they were smart, they would simply shut up shut the fuck up <laughs> and they honestly or just kill with kindness mm-hmm. why are you even being the slightest bit salty if you're getting this fucked over on so many social media platforms i would just be like i'm so sorry free dresses for like yeah. like for they life they didn't even bother saying and not that they could release this but they didn't even bother saying and do not share this email with anyone no <laughs> this like, is how stupid they are things are falling through the cracks and guess who's still talking about it they won't stop emailing her and we won't stop talking about thing. it i know like just get over it so so, she could take off the repost, but she was like, I don't really want them to know that I'm scared. Like, yeah. If I'm scared, so yeah. I'm just like not going to. So yeah, I don't yeah. know what she decided to do about that. But I meant to tell her that I talked to my dad because I was like. I think she like her lawyer that. also kind of said the same thing. Like, I don't think these He's people like, are going to. He's like repost. Gonna... They didn't specify repost. You could, if you were out of an abundance of caution, you could remove that. No, but... because if they want to fucking take you to court, it's the best case scenario. If they want to pay for lawyers and go to court like psychopaths because all of a sudden they have all the money in the world, but they didn't have the money to yeah. return her dress earlier. OK, if they want to do that, then perfect. She'll win because their contract was janky as fuck. Yeah. And then guess what, bitch? She's going to tell this whole story. And now you have nothing on her. Now she can talk about whatever she wants. She's going to put the video back. Yeah. So it's a win win, really, if they do sue or they don't. Yeah. But I'll end this with saying fuck them as usual. They, I honestly can't believe they still message her. Like just say sorry and then maybe she'd post about that. But you keep making it worse. Mm-hmm. So And I mean it's a, it's not quite this because there is an issue there. But have you ever heard of the Streisand effect? No. It's So it's stem, it stems from Barbara Streisand. But okay. it basically it means like when the, the conflict make something more of a deal than the initial thing. So it's like, oh, if you... Like why is that based on Barbara Streisand? Because she once got mad at some article that that said something about where she lived or like the area that she lived in or something. And she made a whole big deal about that where it's like, maybe this many people would read that article and be like, oh, cool, that's where right. she lives. But her like Reaction. picking up a fuss made everyone look into it and everyone know. So it's oh. like one of these things where it's like you actually made it worse. Like the thing yes. that you were mad about, you made it so much worse. Yes. So that's kind of what they're doing here. It's like you really fucked up. Yeah. But unfortunately, the way you've handled it has made people so inflamed and care so much and talk about it so much more. Yeah. Then if you just kind of like fucked up and remedied it and right. we all move on. But yes. Like, and or even if they fucked up and did the initial thing that like they still sent her that first letter. But it's like sending this email. It's like I would have forgotten about you by this week, guys. Yeah. But now you're making me think about you a whole other week and get even more mad. Like even if you're mad. They're just generating the content. Yeah, like exactly. You're like actually making me think and think about Avenue Twenty Two much more <laughs> than I than ever would have wanted should. to. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's literally that where like learn how to let something just die. You know we would move on from this so fast. Yeah, seriously. And now you're literally making us talk about it again. Oh on my our god, podcast. I wonder if they'll send her another email, or I wonder if they will take her to court. Honestly, this is the best show I've ever watched. Yeah, but it's like you're making more and more people know who you about are. This. Brand yeah. awareness in the worst way. <laughs> Yeah, so Avenue like maybe 22. just silently stew. Like, I don't care if you're still mad. Be mad. But, like, please stop giving us things to talk about. Oh, my God. And now you know. Like, people that know, like, people that go to shop there know that they're fucking salty people. Yeah. Like, they're not people that'll, like, bend down and, like, give you your money back, which most businesses have to do. Like, if you want to run a business, you're there's going to be times where you just have to deal with customers customer yeah. service you often have to deal with fucking asshole customers or remedy situations that you don't actually yeah. feel should be remedied that way but you're you have to be the bigger person as the business so it's kind of and like at minimum you have to provide the service that you agreed to provide at minimum so it's like even if they were assholes to her if you get a dress in the end who cares i wasn't going there for to be your best friend i was going there like unfortunate if you had a bad experience which she didn't even at yeah. her actual like dress fitting yeah but it's like at minimum a business just at least has to do what they said they're gonna do don't take it so personally bitch yeah so that's what may or may not be happening with my videographer which just stay tuned we we don't know if we need to discuss it yet oh but if we do need to discuss it i feel bad for that videographer (laughs) oh maybe they're fucking with the wrong girl or maybe they're not fucking with the wrong girl we don't know we'll decide later we don't know i'll tell you in private off camera honestly should we get a patreon actually i did set up our patreon but we have no episodes on it 
Oh, Obviously, okay. Obviously, you know that. We didn't record it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I did set up a Patreon and I'm just going to do it myself. Imagine I just went rogue on Patreon. Oh, guys, here. Well, I'm here. Here's some tea about Annie. Like, here's some tea. <laughs> just talk shit about you the whole time. Um, no, but I do want to bl- say you everyone. You put all the names that I've made you bleep out. You're just listing names that I said. <laughs> here's a list of Annie's say. boyfriends that she fucking <laughs> edited out of the show. Um, no, I was going to say, guess what, everyone? I got approached by Cameo, which is this is like the fourth time I've been approached by Cameo. And I always say no, because I'm like, that's weird. Like, why would I be on Cameo? I think it's weird if influencers are on Cameo. But this time Mm -hmm. they made a good point. They Mm -hmm. were like, you can answer people's advice with a video. And I was like, that makes sense to me. So anyway, I'm on Cameo. And if you do book me on Cameo, Annie will be on it, too. And I'll give Annie like three percent of whatever I say. It's okay. No, no, no. You can have some. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We have to start monetizing. Three percent. Three percent. Easy, easy. Three percent of what? Forty dollars? Yeah, yeah. No, actually, they made me start at fifteen. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you can have yeah. seven, seven fifty. Oh, that's not three percent. Yeah. Sorry, I'm giving you fifty all. The- <laughs> three percent of fifteen. No one said we were mathletes. No one did, <laughs> and we're not. I'm also on Cameo, actually. I oh, think great. For like 40 okay, to $50. so you know what? Don't even worry but about I, book her. I'm so sorry. I rarely do them. Why? And maybe I'll start. I, 50 I bucks isn't so enough oh so yeah cringe. because it's all Degrassi fans coming after you and they're like hey can you be in character as Fiona hey Fiona Coyne here I'm an alcoholic lesbian the thing is if someone actually did ask me for advice I would do that because that's like I'm giving something maybe I'm I should like, just pivot mine and call it doll space pod instead of Sam doll then and then we can both and we can charge it. more and then we could charge more because two for the price of one let's see if anybody does it in the first place guys yeah no, no, I would no. rather do that because I think when I get them it's just like it's people wanting me to say happy birthday. And honestly, I it's not worth it for me to do it for less than what I'm charging. Mm-hmm. And But I actually just feel guilty when I... Because like, what am I... I'm just going, hey, happy birthday. Hope you have a great one. <laughs> Your friends are so nice to you for doing this. <laughs> wow. 24. What an age. <laughs> well... Happy birthday. Like, and then I'm like, I actually feel like it's highway robbery that yeah. I'm making you give me $50, let's say, for me to do, give you that bullshit, even though that's what you asked for. Your friends are so nice for like, you. Like, I don't know what to say, right? And then sometimes people will be like, say, oh, I just love you on Degrassi. Like, say some of your favorite memories working on Degrassi. So I'm like, okay, so at least that's a prompt. Yeah. So I do that. But like, I don't know. I have like a weird feeling where I feel like, I feel so bad that you're paying me for this. Yeah. And yet I don't want to do it for not money. <laughs> so it's like this weird thing where I just don't Let's feel good Let's call the whole thing it. off. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. And sometimes I get them and I just read the prompts and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I don't want to do like that. Like when Hinder rejected my cameo request. How many people yeah. are like, raise your hand if you're fucking um, getting like A cameo Hinder. from Hinder? <laughs> yeah. Like, sorry. Okay, so Lips of an Angel yeah. is my But someone would say... Song. Have that about Fiona from Degrassi. It's like, okay, how many people are getting okay, that? But I feel like the like not I, that many. <laughs> <laughs> Some, but I. You know what? There's probably you know what? Maybe it's like comparable to the amount Hinder gets. But anyway, I emailed Hinder. I emailed Hinder. No, I <laughs> cameoed. cameoed Hinder for Joe's birthday like a few years ago because it's a running joke that I think Joe's favorite song is "Lips of an Angel" by Hinder, and I sang it to him at our wedding. Like it's a whole thing. And, it, and it's the reason for that is because it was his song on his MySpace page. Right. And so then I just kept telling people Lips of an Angel is Joe's favorite song. And then he was like, stop telling everybody it's my favorite song. And <laughs> then whatever. It's the, that's like the running joke. So anyway, for Joe's birthday a few years ago, I cameoed Hinder. And I was like, hey, guys. <laughs> I don't even know what I said. I was like, if you can just like tell Joe, like, you're so grateful that Lips of an Angel is his favorite song because, like, he's obsessed with it. Like, I wasn't making it like this is a joke. I was yeah. like, it's his favorite song. Like, yeah. whatever. And then they just did not respond. I think they should, like, re- I think there should be a thing being like, hey, sorry, like, full inbox. We could, couldn't could get you to you this time. We'll get to you next time. Instead of just, like, me looking in my inbox every day, like, did they read it? Did they do it or not? I know. I've done that to people, though. Yeah. I, well, like, fully let them expire. I feel so bad. But, like, I get a cameo and I'm, like, so mad. Okay. So don't ask Annie for cameos. I don't think I'll be that mad, but I might be. So let's see. Like, let's do a focus group on whoever's listening to this and wants a cameo from me. Um, you'll get the ones where I'm not mad. But then I might be ba- mad later and not respond. <laughs> and not do them. <laughs> and I have sent again. out a few free ones, though, where I've, like, missed the deadline. And I'm, like, honestly... I just want to say, I think because like if I if I'm choosing to do them and it's free and I'm just saying happy birthday, I'm like, you get what you get and you won't get upset. Yeah. 
You know, whereas like when it's like fifty dollars, I feel like I need to be like bringing something to the table yeah. rather than like, hey, happy birthday, hope you have a great one, bye. Yeah. Two seconds. Honestly, and then I'm like, I'll just give that to you for free. You know what would be so fun if every like I don't know sixth cameo you get, you just drop some crazy fucking gossip about like <laughs> who you fucked on set. They're gonna have to pay me more than that. <laughs> but isn't it just so funny that one person will get like <laughs> such a dope. But they can post it. Like, there's nothing saying you can't post it. Okay, you guys let us know what you want to hear about on Patreon because... Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, separately. Okay, so yeah. Cameo hit us can up. Can you tell we want to make some money? <laughs> can you tell we're still not getting paid? And the funny part is the podcast studio that we were initially going to work at hit us up and they were like, hey, with TikTok, like, going down, like, maybe you want to, like, pivot to focus on YouTube and whatever. And I was like, love the enthusiasm and love that you're <laughs> you're reaching out because that's a good sales tactic. Yeah. However... We, we are as broke as we were before we had all these hits. Right. All these hits. We got hits, guys. So it's <laughs> just a matter of time. It's and all the good. hits keep coming. The hits keep coming. Okay. And by the way, I have a little something I'd like to discuss with you after these questions. Great. Okay. Thank God. Here's a little thing. I have we... so much to discuss and yet nothing I can say. Wow. Well, that's what yet. I'm here for. I'm I'm past that. I can just talk about whatever I want. How nice. Tinch. Okay, um, let's get into some questions here. And you guys really listened when we said write the hell in. Oh, and love that. God damn it, you did. So the subject is, tell me if I should go to this wedding or not. Since my name is basically as unique as Glendal- Gwendolyn Peters or whatever the fuck, please <laughs> keep me anon. But if you need a name to use, call me Liz, XO. Anyway. Oh, that's going to be confusing. Yeah, you know what? Let's call her Jen. We don't know any Jens. Well, yeah, we, we do. do. Okay. Sorry, well, Liz is like one of our best friends. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to get confused. Okay, so then forget it. Um, here's my novella. <laughs> this will be entirely too much context, but the part of my brain that knows what pieces are important and what aren't just doesn't exist. <laughs> I appreciate that. I have that problem. Yeah, I'm always giving all the context. <laughs> I'm 32 from a small town north of Toronto. I want to know what town. DM me. <laughs> when you say small town, like... Small town like, north of Toronto. Like fucking... Beaumont like fucking tiny 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 beaches or whatever (laughs) Midland Midland could it be Malton okay let us know I met a guy in high school and we stayed close friends for years and years and eventually we slept together for a while we were seeing other people and he got into a relationship with a girl that was four years younger than him and shortly after that I met my husband yay oh you're married or are you still I interacted with her Yeah, this isn't about that it's about a wedding Oh, right. Someone else's. Right, right, right. I interacted with her on Twitter and roasted him with her. La, la, la. We became friendly. Oh. Wait. <laughs> it just says, I interacted with her on Twitter and the roasted. The four years younger girl. Yes. Okay. La, la, la. We became friendly. Okay. He dumped her and months after their breakup, he told me she was still hounding him about whether or not he cheated on her. He doesn't know the difference between monogamy and monopoly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I asked him if he did, and he said, yeah, she talks to her stuffed animals. What was I supposed to do? (laughs) And I said, I don't know. Break up with her. So I told him to just tell her she deserves to be vindicated considering she was right the whole time. Because I'm a people pleaser, I reached out to her to apologize for his trash behavior, and she clung to me after that. We became closer over time. Really, she's going through it and came to me with all her problems. I felt like her mental health was almost relying on me to always be there and say the right thing to her. She got into another relationship with a man who's six years or so older than her. She doesn't want kids. He doesn't want kids, and she does. He moved her across the border with all his family... And they are always manipulating her and by her account are horrible people. They got engaged and have planned and changed their wedding date over and over and over. His family keeps getting involved and making them change the date. They even called her parents secretly and had them come get her and take her back to their house while they sorted everything out. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Okay, I'm just going to jump ahead here. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's only a few. Okay. Okay. So she asked me to be a bridesmaid, and I oh said, "Oh my yes. god!" <laughs> I was um, gonna say, "Yeah, don't go to this wedding." But yeah. Okay, you're a bridesmaid. Yeah. Okay. So many things wrong with this already, but I'll finish. I'll finish because that's my job that I'm not getting paid to do. <laughs> Seriously, since I'm not getting paid, I should just tell you now that this is fucking insane. But <laughs> let me humor you. Okay. So she asked me to be a bridesmaid and I said yes at the time and helped her plan the wedding and change and pivot and change again. But after a lot of consideration, I let her know I don't think it was appropriate for me to be in her wedding party because, we, because we'd grown apart. Whoa. Whoa. Good for you. 
She said she understood and everything was all good. The wedding is in June on a work Whoa. on a work day. So I will have to tra- travel eight hours by myself, <gasps> book a hotel, take the day off work, etc. to attend the wedding. I'm feeling conflicted because I don't support this relationship. I don't think I should attend the wedding. However, she is such a fragile person. I would honestly rather be uncomfortable than make her upset. I don't know if I should just suck it up and go. But if I don't, how do I explain to her that not only am I not your bridesmaid, but I'm not even coming to your wedding? I accidentally also bought a concert ticket for the same night as the wedding, a band I've seen before and will see again. <laughs> but I will have to sell my one ticket if I don't go to the wedding. That was just poor planning on my part. I'm OK with et- with this ending our friendship. Oh, well, but I'm go. just a girl. <laughs> I don't want her to be mad at me, but why do you care? Because I'm a people pleaser and I need therapy about it. Okay, pals, tell me what to do. Okay, that was a roller coaster, but I like the work that she's already done for us. Because my first thing I was going to say is if you really don't want to go, don't go, but you have to be okay with it ending the friendship. Yeah, also absolutely don't go. That is literally insane. Go to a concert, have a better time. I don't know. But don't post when you're at the concert. Don't post, obviously. But you know what? Where you really went wrong is when you first reached out to her. Like after the boyfriend, your friend cheated on her. Right. You know what? Actually, this this is something that like really pisses me off in general. Okay. No, and I'm not, no shade to you because I'm sure I like you as a person, but (laughs) I was watching a TikTok the other day Uh and it was this girl saying how um, one of her guy friends was dating this girl Mm -hmm. and um, he calls her and he goes, hey, I'm here with Becky. I'm just going to put you on the phone because um, so you can tell her that the earring she just found on my bedside table is yours. And she goes, "Okay," And then. Becky gets on the phone and she goes, hey, it's not mine. I haven't been over to his house in weeks, whatever. And then they both start cheering like the boyfriend and the Becky because it was a test and she passed. The test is to see like if you're a girl's girl or whatever. So it's like, I'm going to tell you whatever. (laughs) However, then the guy was like, what the hell? Like you wouldn't cover for me. And she's like, no, I wouldn't cover for anybody that was like cheating on their significant other. Mm -hmm. But then... A lot of people were saying, like, her girlfriends were like, well, what if it was me that called you and I'm calling you and you're going to, like, what, tell my boyfriend that I, that, like, I'm cheating. You're going to say, sorry, I have no idea what she's talking about to my boyfriend. And she goes, yeah, I tell the truth. I'm not getting involved in your relationship. Like, if Mm. you're cheating, leave me out of it. So I see that side. I would never fucking do that to a friend. I would never do that to you. I would never do that to you. I get it. We've okay. talked about that too. Oh. Where there's like, there's literally no chance in hell. Like if I was having an affair, I would need to come to you and you would not have uh, to, you no. would not be able to tell You are Joe. allowed to judge an affair. Of course. Yes. If it's hurting other people, you are allowed to say, this has to end. You need to fix this. But you are like, I don't know. I Like... It's not really your business. Like the fact that your friend cheated on your on this girl who talks to stuffed animals. I mean, why even help her? Like, and your loyalty in that case is to like your friend, your friend more. Yeah, I, I I think it gets trickier maybe with guys and girls. I feel a little bit differently with guys and girls. I don't but know. That, even like if, if I'm I'm just closer friends with girls than guy. Like I don't have any guy friend that I'm that. Yes, of course, like, yeah, of course it's easier because we have a collective idea about men that they do shit like this, so it's, like, different. But I'm like, I don't know, like, if Mike Gray, Mm -hmm. not in this situation, because now Mike Gray is dating my best friend, so that's different. But, like, if Mike Gray, who's also my best friend back in the day, was, like, whatever, there's no way I'm telling that girl. Who's that girl to me? Yeah. This isn't my problem. Yeah. Like, If I wasn't friends with him, then I'd tell that girl whatever she wants to hear. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost easier if I'm not that girl's friend, because then I can be like, like, if a girl asks me, like, hey, what do you think of this guy? And it's a guy I dated and don't talk to anymore. Fuck, I'll drag him. I don't care. Right. But like, and I'm obviously for the girls, but I am not getting involved. Exactly. I'm not getting involved Mm -hmm. with my friends cheating thing. I like, I think saying anything is getting involved. Let them sort it out. I'd call my friend back later and say, whose what earring was it? And yeah. what the fuck are you going to do about it now? Yeah. Fix this. Yeah. Because I feel bad for that girl. But mm-hmm. it's not my job to tell the girl. In that moment. Yeah. I think that's crazy. I think it's insane, actually. Especially since you don't know what the situation is. And maybe it was just easier for him to say that it was 
yours than what like maybe it was someone where there was like overlap before but he knows that it's fine now yeah you know what I mean like it yeah. could have been something where he's like oh this is gonna cause drama when I'm like actually not cheating on her yeah. so I'm just gonna say it was the friends and what if you're like I haven't been there in weeks blah 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 and you actually like sewer him yeah because now he's lying like I would also opt for like going Gives along the the and doubt. then calling later to be like what is up yeah because yeah exactly yeah ask them what's up first oh my god a paper bag just fell from the sky onto my shed do you want to see that other way oh yeah do you see that interesting do Where'd you that? ever feel like <laughs> a paper bag blowing in the wind <gasps> wow how <laughs> apropos not really we weren't talking about do that do you ever song. feel like that bag <laughs> yeah and landing on a shed yeah maybe <laughs> Anyway, okay, sorry. This wasn't this wasn't meant to roast you, but I right. uh, but my point is this also wasn't really about her situation cuz no, 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 no. I only okay. mentioned it because at the beginning she said, "Why don't you just tell her you cheated on her?" And then she's like, "So I reached out to her." Right. Like, "Why?" This right. girl is you And well, yeah, I was irked by her being like, "I went I went to the girl to apologize for his behavior." What is this, your son? Yeah. This like, is not you your don't job. Have to None of this is your for job. A random friend's behavior. Yeah. Like you really only need to apologize for like your husband's your, behavior and your own. And your own or m- your kid. Yeah. So definitely I would not feel any obligation to go to this wedding, especially since this person only became tight with you after you like sided with her during this breakup, which means you became her exactly emotional crutch. Yeah. And like connection to him. Like she was probably like, oh, great. I have this chick that's down to talk about him with me because he like. I've been in so many friendships like that after breakups where I randomly just out of nowhere get super close to a friend of a friend that's his. And then I'm just like. Because you'll get the updates. Yeah. You'll know, like, yeah, you'll yeah. she'll let you talk shit. Yeah. Clearly, you've let her feel like it's okay to talk shit about this guy. So she's probably like, amazing. This is going to feel validating to have this chick around. Yeah. And okay, you've moved on. And maybe from her perspective, too, it's like, look, I got your friend in my bridal party. Right. Like, totally. I don't know. I mean, I could just be speculating here, but. And also, it sounds like separately, she's moved away. She, your lives are not like don't have anything to do with each other anymore. Yeah, you are okay with the friendship ending. You were mature enough to say, "Hey, I don't feel like we're close enough to be in your bridal party," which is huge. Like that's yeah, a really I would hard... never say that. And, good and for the you. fact that she took that well, like I, I'm very impressed. She took it well because she probably knows it's fucking weird. Yeah, <laughs> I'm only friends with this chick. But I'm impressed that you did that. So I think if you are actually prepared to not be friends with her any, anymore, I feel like you could just say, "Look, I just don't think I can come to this wedding." I feel like we've grown apart. Your relationship needs some work (laughs) and I just can't make it. Yeah. So that's one option. Another option is to, I don't know, fake strep. Oh, you just want, if you just want to bow out. The thing about that as someone who is currently planning a wedding Mm -hmm. and mine is a sit down dinner. I don't know what the vibe of her wedding is, but I actually personally i actually just pe- don't want people to say they're attending if they're not gonna come like it's like fucking 200 plus dollars per person right i want to oh, know you'd have to I'm- send money if you fake strap right i mean you should send money anyway if you're gonna bail just send some money yeah i just think like if you're really not intending to come just please just say that I, I so i can plan accordingly yeah like i would i would personally really rather someone not bail last minute and I think it's also like if you fake strep it, and but you acted like oh but I really wanted to be there you are just kind of like kicking the can down the road until another like she's going to think that you guys are this level of friends when maybe this is just the perfect opportunity weddings to break do it really off. do that weddings do really do that I lost a couple good friends we lost a few good men over my wedding yeah I haven't lost anyone Follow yet us on but Patreon if you want time. to hear more about that True. Oh, I Good will plug, fucking Sam. I will spill the beans on my wedding drama. You on know what? Patreon. I'll spill some beans too. You would, Annie. I would. Stop. As long as there's no snitches. Snitches, <laughs> snitches get stitches, and we'll find you. Yeah. One of the podcasts I listen to called Bitch Sesh. They always say no tagging. 
So like, because they talk about housewives and they're like, we want to speak freely. No tagging. Like, yeah. don't fucking tag someone Don't find in, like, people and yeah. tag them and be a weirdo. Honestly, even with my, I'm doing a thing on TikTok right now where I talk about every guy I've ever dated. Yeah. And initially I was just going to say their names because it's first names and they have generic first names yeah. or whatever. So I'm like, whatever. But then I started thinking like, people are fucking weird. And if I say like, you know, like this person, we're, we worked, we met at this restaurant or we met at this time mm-hmm. at this bar or like whatever. I'm like, people will be weird and perhaps find people. Yeah. I didn't even name River in my last one, but hell, I'll name him now. Hate that guy. (laughs) And that's more of a random name. Yeah. I mean, he's also has zero social media. You will not find that man. I think he might be dead. Yeah. Hope he's not, though. Anyway, so sorry that was kind of harsh advice. I guess basically absolutely don't go to that wedding. I would not feel bad if I were you. I'd feel actually vindicated. There's so many reasons why you shouldn't go to that wedding. And And go to that concert. I don't know who the band is, but I feel like that'll be a lot more fun than... Also, sorry, wedding on a work day and you're coming from out of town? Barbaric. Yeah, and you know what? Some weddings, they just don't make sense and that's okay. Like, Like, we have a really good friend... Who, who didn't come to either of our weddings. Who, who are you talking about? <laughs> who are you talking Keisha. about? Keisha. Oh, yeah. Well, great excuse. Yeah. yeah. Pregnant. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It didn't make sense. She yeah, couldn't yeah, come yeah. to mine. She's not going. She's due on Annie's wedding. Yeah. And she's still like, maybe I'll get gone. I know. Like, she did that to mine, too. Like, yeah. literally, like, up until the day before, she's like, yeah. we're going to be there. She sent me, like, a whole thing being like, yeah. we're coming. Fuck it. Like, we're doing it. And then she was like, I can't. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know. I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about an upcoming wedding. One of your really good friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and someone who I've gotten recently friends with. Yes. Um, and I'm not going to her. She's coming to my wedding. And which I'm is not, on her birthday. Which is on her birthday. <laughs> she's also going to my bachelorette. Yeah. Um, and I, but we're like new friends. And she is having a destination wedding and planned it kind of last minute. And I just can't swing it. Like it's It's coming, like a week after Annie gets back from her bachelorette. And it's like after a string of like so many trips and money spent and we're renovating our house and it's like going to be right in the middle of that i will also say where she's having her wedding is expensive like going out west in canada any point in the summer is more expensive than going to italy fight me on that it's it's insane right so like so nice of her to invite me and i like actually do want to be there and do celebrate this union so it's like but it's like even then i still can't make it work like it's just it just doesn't fit with my life right now. We're renovating our house. Luke can't come because he will have just taken three weeks off work. Yeah. He will just be getting back. So we, for those reasons, we can't come. And that's a wedding I would support love to and go would to. love to be able to go to. Yeah. So it's like, you have good reasons, those similar reasons. And also you don't even support the union. And yeah. you're okay with being not friends with her. Yeah. That should be, that's like the main thing. Oh, please me. don't even go. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Next. I feel like we've been reiterating our thoughts. Okay. Annie's pissed at herself. <laughs> no, I'm just like, you get it. Yeah. Don't go to the wedding. Yeah. Don't go. Okay. Also, just one more thing as a bride. You just want people there who want to be there. Uh, yeah. None of this obligation thing. Don't 100%. Come. That's if you don't so come, old don't school. Come. Like, don't. Like, seriously. I hate that old school mentality. Like, we're yeah. just going to go. Like, fuck it. Um, okay. Here we go. Okay. One of these didn't load and I'm getting really pissed off about it. Oh, here mm. it is. Okay. The subject is breakups. Hi. So I was with my ex for about four and a half years. We took a few breaks during that time because the timing was always off and I felt like he wasn't prioritizing me. The last breakup was on very good terms and we have a lot of love for each other. Nothing bad happened. So I feel that if he grows and changes on his own, I would consider getting back with him if he ever came back. History shows that he comes back every time. So... That's why I think he might. Or do you think I should just leave it in the past if he does? What do you think are important things to consider if we ever decided to try again? Thanks so much. Uh, I guess the most important thing to consider is why you keep breaking up. Yeah. Why would you break up so many times? And how old are you? And how old are you? (laughs) And like, do you want to be with him? Or is it just a comfort thing because you just feel like he always comes back so you don't have to think about actually doing something else? And what, how many times did they break up? Because it's sort of like, what are you trying? Like, what's, what's not working? I, I, I don't know. Hold on. I can't find Unless you're like 20. We took a few breaks during that time because the timing wasn't right. A few breaks. I don't know. I don't. During four years. A few breaks. You know what? I see this bitch's, wait, is this her, is this her name? I can look her up. (laughs) 
sorry this is what happens when you don't give us context but we're not gonna share no we're, we're not gonna, gonna share. share but mommy has to go on instagram and look now because your age actually does matter for this is it, what i have to yeah, say yeah it does i totally as someone like my own husband and i broke up took a break whatever um and got back together and now we're getting married so that's great but i do think if we did that more than once mm-hmm. it is sort of like what's going on there like yeah what i mean it's not w- happening what's not working okay i can't see it and like why do you keep breaking up like that's why if you're if your age your age does make a difference because i would understand if you guys didn't want to settle down yet yes i think a lot of people break up for that reason yeah, i feel like tara yummy and jake broke up for that reason who <laughs> you knew you even said that like annie is gonna say who guys i know some of you know who tara yummy is she's this like kid youtuber she's a 23 year old youtuber that i'm obsessed with and her and her boyfriend broke up. like i am actually one of those fucking millennials that's creeping hard on this like child relationship yes like her <laughs> like her life like but you know i love following party girls and she's yeah. a party girl anyway they're best friends tara yummy and jake are best friends am i right guys mm-hmm. everybody else know who i'm talking about here <laughs> they're besties but they broke up i think because they're too young And they haven't experienced everything they need to experience. Yeah. So I'd say I don't know what was missing from your original relationship that made you break up a few times. A few times seems like too many times for me. If my gut. Yeah. (laughs) My gut instinct is to just leave this shit in the dust. But. Or not be holding out for it. Like it sounds like you're not like should I get back with him? I have this opportunity. You're like he'll probably come back. So it's like is that. What? Yeah. Yeah, Like like, do you want him to? Do you want to be in a relationship? Are you just thinking in the future he's a good fallback if I don't meet anyone better? Clearly what you should do is live your life and then see what happens just like Ben and Jen did. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like he could come back next year. He could come back in 15 years. The whole thing with breaks and this is my honest, like, <laughs> why was I about to say this was my honest opinion? Like, yeah. obviously, was, though. Yeah, like, what was I doing lying? The whole- I'm so Guys, coy, this, this is should- my honest opinion really on breaks because I'm going to be honest with you right now. <laughs> You need time for the break to work. Otherwise, it's pointless. If you break up for a fucking month and you're like, we did it. We like got our space. Like, I'm assuming you needed the space to see if like Mm -hmm. this is, you know, to like learn about like what worked, what didn't work in the in the actual break. So if you're getting back together every few months, then I mean, take a real break. Long enough to actually me and my first boyfriend who dated for a long time, like first love, like like I would have been down to marry him if Mm -hmm. it was like normal to get married at 19 and we were like let's break up because we're fucking 19 i've been together since we were i like was 15 when Mm -hmm. i started dating him and we you know this but i'm saying it for them and we broke up because of that exact reason like it's crazy to not have experienced anything else you're going to university like let's like let's live our lives uh and we were like we thinking 24 is old we're like in five years i did the same thing we'll come back so when i'm 24 then we'll want to get married right yeah so we're like we'll take like a five-year thing let's come back together in five years and we'll we'll definitely want to get back together we will have had our fun and whatever i mean funnily enough he did come back in five years he did we actually and gave six it a- and seven <laughs> Sorry. We he actually, doesn't listen. No. He won't even not. listen to my music. Remember? <laughs> yeah. He unfollowed you, didn't he? Yeah. What a dick. Yeah. We'll talk about that on Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Oh, um, oh Patreon's going to be fucking spicy. I know. Okay. Love it. Yeah. We need to We need to meet about that. I know. Well, I'm coming to St. Catharines on Sunday, but you're going to be here, right? Yeah. Sad. Are you staying overnight here Sunday? No. I'm staying overnight there Sunday. Okay. Why don't I come over after dinner and we can record a Patreon after dark? Patette. Yeah, patette. Patette. Okay. Um, Go on. Okay. So anyway, we we did come back. We actually did try again and ultimately no. But it was like, wow, we actually took the five years. And I actually was sort of like, I don't think I'm going to still care about this, but like, let's try and see so I can Mm -hmm. say that I did it. And ultimately the answer is no. But I was like, that's cool that we actually did take five years. Like I did date a whole other person. Mm hmm slept with a few more like i definitely had my fun yes you did you were the village bicycle (laughs) everyone took a ride (laughs) enough to know that i could make that decision honestly yes exactly so exactly like that makes a huge difference how long the breaks are i agree that's also my honest opinion is that Um, your honest opinion on this whole thing opinion is you need at least a year 
or more and another relationship. Okay. I also agree with that. I think definitely. But if you're asking us, because the end of this was what things do you think um, I should look for? Yeah. What are important things to consider if we ever try to date again? I mean, not just you, but I don't know why you broke up. Yeah, exactly. Consider those reasons why you broke up. Yeah. I'd say like in general, you want to date someone that you don't feel the need to continuously break up with Mm -hmm. and someone that you feel fulfilled with. Like, obviously, you break up with someone a million times. What's going on there, sister? You can write us again with more context if you want. We can we can get more into this if you give us more context. And you can write us again when he does come back. And you're actually if you're actually deciding. I mean, I think it's probably a good sign that you're still thinking about him, but that can go either way. It's like sometimes you think it means so much when you're still thinking about your ex and you're like, that's just because I feel like this is a young girl and this is like her first. Yeah, you either like haven't met someone else yet and you're just thinking, you know, there have been a few people where you're like, oh, but it's not like this. It's like, well, it's not going to be the next person you meet always. Yeah. Like you need to have an actual meaningful other relationship in order to fully Compare. Yeah, or just get out on the scene and see what happens yeah. and, and compare that way, too. You'll meet a lot of people dating. I love dating. Yeah, I just, I just, I don't know. It doesn't bode well that you're like, it sounds like you're looking, thinking of him as a fallback. So are you yes. like, are there things you actually really like about him that only he possesses? Or are you just like, I could live with that. That's not so bad. I mean, I... <laughs> I don't want to take this in a whole other direction, but I feel like anyone you end up marrying, you're going to say, I can live with that. There's like, always going to be There's a lot of, with. I can live with that, and that's not so bad. And whoever <laughs> you can so live true. with the most and isn't the worst is the one you marry. But wouldn't you say that there's also, they have to have qualities where you're like, wow, I oh love my this God. about yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specifically, that only you have that my other partners didn't have. Like, yes, of course. You know, there's definitely so many things where it's like, can, can I live with that? <laughs> uh, I only have a few more months to find out, <laughs> to make that decision. But I, yeah, but there's things where I'm like, you are special. Yeah. Like this, these qualities actually make it so that I can live with these other qualities. Yes. Whereas some others didn't. Yeah. Exactly. And timing comes into it and everything, you know, logistics. Couldn't live with that. But ultimately, there are things that keep you coming back. Because, yeah. like, it's so easy to just simply not be with someone. Yes, and it's so hard to not give up. But for the right person, not giving up is worth it. So maybe this isn't the right person right now. And I think the answer is you should just live your life as if he's not coming back and have fun and see what yeah. else is out there. Because clearly something was broken. And if it's broken... Yeah. fix it and what what now is becoming more of a thing that people say but I think people didn't want to say for a while is like ultimately you choose someone yeah you choose them and then you just keep choosing them and like you just enjoy yourself with the choice that you've made so it's kind of like the fact that you're not choosing this guy I don't know you need to figure out if you like get back together are you choosing him yes or no <laughs> If you're choosing him, fucking just keep choosing him. Yeah. That's like what marriage is. Yeah. Continuously choosing someone every day. And that's also what quitting vaping is, which is something I just did. And it's waking up every day, choosing not to. Yeah. And it's the saddest day of of my life every day. Anyway. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. But do quit vaping if you can. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Hate it. Okay. (laughs) Megan Fox poems. Okay. I'm so excited for this one because the... I totally forgot this was a question and the little thing I wanted to talk with you about later was Was actually Megan Fox. Fox, So we can just... I didn't watch the interview. You don't need to have watched the interview because I am going to tell you about the interview. I'm going to break it down for you. Also, we were thinking on Patreon we could get more into pop culture stuff. Yeah. Like we could like watch interviews and read articles and things that that are like being talked about and give our thoughts because we we dabble we dip our toe we into dip pop our culture, toe but we could actually like we could do be some dragging homework. bitches and we could be doing some real homework oh like, homework yeah, i could yeah, be yeah. watching the interviews i could be like yeah listening to the ariana I've grande got news nothing song. going on beyonce's album's coming out tomorrow so do listen to that okay great We'll so do. We can get to the bottom of. So we can get to the bottom of that. Okay. What? <laughs> Can't wait. All right. Also, guys, I got my extensions back. Oh yeah, Annie looks beautiful again. Thank God. It was like <laughs> sitting next to like a broomstick before. <laughs> <laughs> a gorgeous broomstick with the bluest eyes. Oh, I just felt like I had to update you because yeah. you've been really along 
on the journey. Oh, because we're going to Vegas in two weeks too, so we're gonna have some fucking stories. I know. What are we gonna do about the pod? What are we gonna do about what I'm wearing? Oh yeah. No, I'll just come to St. Catherine's like on the Wednesday after that. Okay. Okay. And do you still want to do your St. Catherine's batch? Yes. Good. Okay. Yeah. That's what I wanted to hear. All right. Here's the subject. Megan Fox poems. Yes. And the email is am I a hater at who knows dot com. Hi, Sam and Annie. Longtime fan of both of you and happy to be a loyal listener. I wanted to reach out because I feel like, Sam, you definitely have some opinions of celebrities that I have agreed with 100%. I know I am also such a hater. It's so bad. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you a secret about me. If I was in their social circles, I'd be eating my words so fast. (laughs) Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. I just wanted to see how you felt about this. I'm not the biggest Megan Fox fan in the world, but I'm not a hater. I just have no opinion of her. But I guess she wrote a book of poems, poems about abuse. She was just on the Call Her Daddy podcast, which I also do not listen to. But I kept seeing TikToks about it and people are praising her over these poems that are literally so immature to me. Am I crazy? I have no idea. One was read out loud where she's literally just talking about MGK walking up to college girls and flirting with them. Like, why do I feel like this is how I used to write in my little notebooks in middle school? (laughs) Okay, whoever this is, please watch my last TikTok. I literally said verbatim, Megan Fox reminds me of me as a teenager. Yeah. Also, when you started reading this, I was about to be like, this is Katie. Oh. But but I know it's not now because I she wouldn't say I had to reach out because Sam, I feel like you had thoughts. She wouldn't say that. I don't think so. But at first I was like, oh, Katie's been talking about Megan Fox a lot. And I wonder if she's like trying on a new voice. of a ch- And maybe she's trying on a voice where she. OK, well, if she's trying on she if this is Katie, she gets an award because even <laughs> she finally stumped because us. I'm yeah, because I'm stumped. <laughs> I could just be a hater. But honestly, I think it's weird that people are praising her so much because she's a hot celebrity. But if any regular person wrote these poems, no one would care. There was another TikTok where she was talking about putting MGK's blood in her mouth. And that's. That it's not weird and she thinks it's weird when, sorry Annie, I know you're more reserved when someone talks like this, lol, when strange men come in women's mouths and I was just cracking up because I'm like, girl, what are you talking about? And people were praising her on how intelligent she was. Okay, I'm so glad this is the question I'm reading because I was about to literally get into every aspect of this and we're going to do it anyway. I'm not sure. You could definitely tell me if I'm being a hater, though. LOL. I just think her poems are very young sounding and I'm just confused as to why there's so many comments that people love her and she's so intelligent. Not saying she's not, but I'm just confused. Would love your input and commentary. Okay, um, I'm saying this is someone who, unfortunately, I love I. Okay. Gather yourself. Let me gather myself. (laughs) I like Megan Fox. I actually do. There's like, there's a way that I think if I chilled with her, I would actually really like her. Yeah. However, celebrities do not get the benefit of chilling with everybody to make (laughs) them see like, oh, they're actually whatever, you know, like, I also feel like a lot of celebrities like, you know, become a hyper version of themselves and or like a, you know, what's the word? Hyper exaggerated version of themselves. And it's like maybe they're not that crazy if you just hung out with them. Like she's obviously playing up the whole like we drink each other's blood. Yeah. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like she's yeah. not like I don't think she's insane. She's got yeah. three kids. However, I do think that what people forget about her is that she is essentially a child star mm-hmm. and child stars are notoriously more immature than yeah other adults and I think that's where this whole and like obviously she's talked about like her traumatic past and stuff like that but I agree with this chick wholeheartedly and that call her daddy interview fucking had me rolling like it was so I funny I also know about this book of poems because Celebrity Memoir Book Club did it for their Patreon what did they say and they were the same thing they were like this is fucking insane like this is actually like dangerous that she put this out here as like this is what love is oh yeah because it is so yeah everyone it's they're like this is the cringiest yeah like most immature thing but also this is like bad oh my god yeah she's she's all into the twin flame toxic lover souls like soul connection whatever and on the podcast and they're like she published this when things were good like i feel like she and mgk like they broke up they got back together whatever they're kind of like going through something guys but she published this when things were at the the height and she was like talking about how much like he hurts her and shit okay and also do you know what so because she was looking for a relationship like that because Mm. she's romanticizing a relationship that many girls maybe romanticize when they're kids like you know like reading twilight or something Mm -hmm. it's giving 
it's giving remember when everybody was making fun of the track list for the new uh taylor swift album that's yeah. like my boy only breaks the toys he loves and he <laughs> yeah. hates or like whatever the hell it was yeah anyway tortured poet whatever at which uh, i say this now and i'm gonna fucking love that oh my album. god i can't wait please you know we're swifty we are now. swifty well i wouldn't yeah yeah i'm a swifty sure sure, sure fuck it i'm a swifty yeah I don't know everything about her. I don't know all the Easter eggs, but... No, me neither. I, I have a There's good grasp levels. on her catalog. There's levels to Swift. You like her music. Love her music. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my dad said the other day, my dad's like, I just have to say, when people hate Taylor Swift, they're jealous. I love that. My dad. Feminist king. My, I don't know where the hell that came from. He was like, she, you know, maybe you think she's cringe. Maybe you think whatever, yes. but she's having a good time. That's exactly how I feel. Uh, and I do think I she's I do cringe. think she's cringe, yeah. but I do think she's having a good time. Agree completely. And I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her too. Yeah. But you know what? You and I have no jealousy in our hearts. No. We well, like our lives. We like our lives. We love our lives. We've had great lives. Very lucky. But anyway, what was I saying about Megan Fox? Oh, yeah. In that interview, there was a point where she was asked about MGK and like where they stand now. And I was laughing so hard because I'm like, imagine someone asked you about your boyfriend who you were engaged to. Mm-hmm. And the thing about Megan Fox, too, that pissed me off when MGK was cheating on her and then she posted that thing on Instagram being like, wow, like, fuck you. And then started burning a bunch of shit in a barrel, <laughs> like, and whatever, and took her ring off and then got so mad when people, like, asked what happened. Like, oh, right. did you break up? She's yeah. like, this is none of the world's business. Like, da-da-da. it's like, what? I hate that. Yeah. Don't bait me like yeah. that. But anyway, she responds. They're like, what's going on with you and MGK? Like, obviously you got you were engaged and then you broke up and you insinuated he was cheating and it seems like you're together again now. And she's like, what I've learned, and this is like profound bullshit that I hate. What I learned is that our relationship is not um, available for public consumption and it doesn't thrive well in public consumption. So what I will say is that we are twin souls And we are always going to be in each other's lives and beyond in whatever capacity. I cannot talk about the capacity right now. Whoa. Could you imagine? Someone's like, what's going on with your boyfriend? And you're like, this question is asking for public consumption. That's also kind of Streisand effect-y. Yes. Because it's like, okay, well, now I have a million questions. When before I just had one. Okay, first of all, are you on peyote? (laughs) But just say like, oh, we're good. Then it's sort of like, okay, you kind of gave me nothing. Yeah. You gave so much in that answer where you're trying to give nothing. Yes. Like, it's like, okay, well, now I'm really If you really didn't want us to up. give a shit, you could just be like, oh, yeah, you we're know, good. we had some hiccups and yeah. we're pretty good now. Yeah, yeah, nothing to report. Exactly. But Moving like, on. I think it's impossible to like make people believe that when you're both so fucking crazy. Yeah. But anyway, whatever. That's what she could have said. Um, but also I thought what was interesting, I think... I've had an issue with like kind of like these feminist figures like Megan Fox is one of them. Amrata is one of them who really like they're just reductive feminists to me. Like talking about like, oh, men. Okay, I need to gather my thoughts Mm. properly for this. But basically. Mm. I think it's the idea that they're accepting everything. You know what I mean? Like they're like, I'm a feminist and that's why I get my tits done. I'm a feminist, whatever. Mm. And that's what real feminism is. And to a degree, that is what real feminism is. But it's also so much more layered than that. And the idea that like, oh, I'm a feminist, like like men are like, I hate men and men are bad and mm. whatever. And it, I just feel like they're kind of like immature feminists yes, to me. Yeah. And like even her going through, like there were so many layers to her going through everything she did with her plastic surgery. Like she was like, OK, I'm going to tell you everything I got. I saw that clip. First of all. I follow a bunch of plastic surgery YouTubers and obviously this is all speculative and whatever, but their professional opinion is that she only admitted to a certain amount, like right. whatever. That's fine. Let's say they're wrong. The, for If you, if they're right and she only admitted to a certain amount, that means that this is not transparent. Like this is mm-hmm. not the transparent movement you wanted it to be. Right. But if you're not lying and this is actually what you got done, then how come at the end you started freaking out about having not having your nose contoured like there's a part where she's like oh my god I can't believe I don't have my nose contoured I don't ever go on camera without my nose contoured whatever and why wasn't her nose contoured she forgot she forgot to contour her nose and like something forget that uh, if it's so important I don't know she's like (laughs) I never do anything without my nose contoured like it's ridiculous that my nose now you're doing an on-camera interview yeah 
and she didn't no i know so so then it's like okay i get it you care about how you look and you're allowed to care about how you look and you're being transparent about how you love getting work done and you love makeup and like whatever but i just feel like there's a a level to it that's missing in her explanation which could be maybe like yeah i love getting work done because i don't want to look like myself because like like i can't sit here without nose contour on because something deeper you know what i mean like i don't think like just sitting there and listing all the stuff you had done and being proud of it makes you like a feminist it makes me think like and what like did you just get that stuff done because you like it or did you get it done because you're afraid of aging and if you're afraid of aging is that not a bigger conversation about like the patriarchy's expectations for us and like I don't know I just feel like this whole like it's just like you could go one more level like yes you're you're, it's like feminism 101 and maybe let's be at feminism yes like when people are like when people are like I get my lips done and I don't give a fuck good that is that is feminism to a degree of course you should be able to get your lips done and not give a fuck but to like I think the problem is the way she's framed herself is of like a higher intelligence kind of like deep Mm -hmm. person and like there's nothing wrong with that because you don't have to listen to her but if she's your role model I'd say she's missing something I also feel like she came out with this like Megan Fox resurgence right like she kind of was away for a bit and then came back and wanted us to feel like she was oh my god she was misunderstood she was treated so badly in the early aughts like yeah you know sex object this and that so when she first came back I feel like everyone was like oh my god Megan Fox icon and then she started like speaking out about how she was treated in the industry all valid and true but then I feel like she didn't do anything different with that yeah she just basically went everyone treated me like a sex object and this and that and guess what I'm going to act the same. Like, yeah. She kind of just didn't like show us what else is going on. Yes. She like leaned into this MGK thing. Yeah. Like a Pamela Anderson to his Tommy Lee. Yeah, like they're obviously like, just well, like. What are you trying to say? I think what they're just. to say is different. I think she just. I think she's just actually like a traumatized person who's immature and actually quite simple. Like yeah. I don't think that she's an. I don't think she's like a fucking genius feminist. No. Is basically what are I'm people saying. people saying that? I think a lot of people like frame her in that way now. Right. Yeah. Like people are like, oh my God, she's a genius. She's a writer. She's like, honestly, this is going to sound anti-feminist of me but like I think the coolest thing is that she's like a mother of three and I like the way she parents her kids Mm -hmm. and like co-parents her kids I think that's the most mature thing about her but like the fact that she's like cosplaying this like toxic famous couple yeah is and she even said herself she's like I would never want to not be famous (laughs) it's like she likes it yeah so it's like okay whatever at least she's open about that yeah but like as a as a what what's it called as a role model or like a feminist icon I personally don't get that I think there's feminist aspects about her but she is someone that like openly likes to be in an abusive kind of relationship which is something that the patriarchy romanticized for us I also think like the role model thing is tricky because sometimes people no one wants to be a role model yeah I guess the thing is that she keeps talking about things as if she like has and like which you know what I'm contradicting myself because she can talk about whatever she wants yeah. people should be able to talk about whatever they want I think it just comes off to a lot of people like she is like evolved in some right. way or she she's speaks figured in, something out she yeah. speaks in a way that like implies that she's figured something out right so honestly just use your own brains <laughs> Yeah, and was there a question with this, or she just wanted to no, hear? She oh, was, she wanted to hear your take on. She Megan wanted to Fox. hear my take yeah. on Megan Fox, and my take on Megan Fox is that I'm so uninterested in Megan Fox. Isn't that funny? Like, I just didn't really care when she piped back in. Everyone was talking about this caller daddy interview. I just was like, yeah, I'm not gonna watch that. I cared when she piped back in because I love looking at her. Oh my. God. God. Like I, Gorgeous. she is such a fucking vision, and like even though now she kind of looks like a Kardashian, yeah, I'm like, this is like a treat for the eyes in the yes. way, like in the way seeing like a whale breach <laughs> in the ocean <laughs> is like exciting. I'm not like, wow, you're a natural beauty. I, I'm fix no, it. It's more just the like epitome of hot. It's like, more just yeah. like fucking right it's like when yeah. christina aguilera did the dirty video like my fucking 13 year old eyes welled with tears yeah of excitement and joy True. like i when you see something that viscerally hot it's just yeah. a joy yeah 
So true. Like Pamela, like trashy hot. I'm talking like hot, trashy hot. Yeah. I love that look. I wish I could pull it off, but I'm fat. <laughs> Sam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You do do trashy hot well. Thank you. Yeah, if anybody's seen my tips. wedding album. <laughs> 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 Wait till you see me in Vegas. You think I was going to be like, yeah. Yeah, like, true. Gonna, you were like, a slut really at your photos. wedding. No, you looked stunning at your wedding. Oh, you thanks, Annie. Stop. Um, yeah, I just was like kind of uninterested in her in general. Yeah, but. that's fair. You know what? I actually do think we should maybe get her book of poems and like just give it a read. Should we do a celebrity memoir book club read? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. On Patreon. On Patreon. But just that book. I can't be yeah. reading full novellas or novels. Not no. I. Yeah, to just read a few. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Sure. Anyway, <laughs> that's unfortunately the little thing I wanted to talk about no, at the that's end. that's okay. So. That's good. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, good. great. Anyway. That's given me something to think about. Watch, I don't have an opinion. That's the problem. Watch the Call Her Daddy an interview an and see what her. you think. Yeah. But anybody that talks about their relationship like that to me is like, honey, I if we were 19, I could sit yeah. here and talk about your twin flame with you. But yeah. someone that's fucking looking at tarot cards all day and going to do ayahuasca and both of you are throwing up green tea and know, fucking and you kids and shitting then, your yeah. pants and whatnot so that you can get closer. It's like, is that what you need to do to get closer? I don't need to do. I don't need to puke and shit in front of <laughs> Joe to figure this out. And you know what? I think it speaks to a bigger lesson here, which is like even with that girl that was asking before, like I broke up with my boyfriend five, four times right. or however many times it was. Um, Like, why is your relationship so complicated? Yeah. It really shouldn't be. And that is not something, I guess, like, that's not a, like, again, she's not saying she's a role model, but that shouldn't be anybody's, like, mm. wow, like, Bonnie and Clyde, like, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. Like, what the hell? Like, I don't fight with my husband like that. We just hang out and have a good time. Like, yeah. have fun. My sister actually was talking to me about the podcast. We were, She was like, oh, my God, last episode was so good. Like, I loved this part, whatever. She's a fan. She's a fan. Meanwhile, and I've been such a bitch in this one. I'm like hammering everybody, but go on. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this one's like not funny, but it's okay. It's okay. Don't laugh. Just be angry with us. <laughs> <laughs> but she was talking about one of the people who we asked, who asked advice. And she was saying like, oh my God, sometimes when people write in and they're like in their 20s and they're talking about all these problems, I'm like, she's like, I'm like practically saying out loud, like, you don't it shouldn't be this hard like, yeah this is the time like if the advice like, is it shouldn't you know, be this hard there's all this stuff but like we're gonna work, work through it or i'm okay to work through it, it like ali my sister was just like don't, just don't. like ali just turned 40 by the way so she's got that wisdom she yeah she knows and she's been married for 15 years she's mm-hmm. just like that's when you work through it not yeah like, when you're in your 20s and you're like can i live with this can i live with this like it's just like it shouldn't be that hard yeah in the beginning or like or just when you're that young and yeah and she specifically wanted it to be known that the person who wrote in about that crazy mother-in-law oh yeah she said run she just said fuck that's never gonna oh, get better oh okay so i don't know if you've already done something about it but FYI, i definitely my sister agree with that. says that will never get better it's only gonna get worse run while you can okay maybe we should have ali as like a correspondent <laughs> I know. Our, our correspondent from la yeah you know we'll who should, we should have on actually christine okay christine needs to come on and be a little correspondent okay. because she is funny yeah that'd be sick she should come to st Catharines for a night and the three maybe of us we should just... record clips in vegas and insert them oh honey the content that's going to come out of vegas is going to be absurd i hope people want cameos when we're in vegas together that'd be fun oh guys do. if you wanted to get a cameo get it the weekend of april 11th to the 14th we're going to be in veggie and we're going to magic mike and annie's hopefully going to get lifted onto some guy's face and no i'm not out. because i'm wearing a skirt and you have to wear pants okay you... well consider me there in a pants <laughs> You can go. I won't be getting simulated cunnilingus on stage. You'd be in front missing of my out. Sister. Oh my god! Come on, who cares? Your sister would probably be so happy for you, clapping even. Um, I Smiling. think she'd be like crying, laughing. I don't know that she'd be happy for me. Well, if you're laughing, you're not sad. No, she's not gonna be sad. <laughs> she's just gonna be like, "Holy fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> she's not gonna be sad. She's just gonna be like, "Holy fuck." Anyway, we're going to the Wind Buffet. We're staying at the Venetian. Oh, I we're can't go- wait. We're going to Tao Beach Club. We're doing the works. I can't wait works. to debrief and do a pod after that. And then we'll Patreon for the real shit. Oh, my God. Because we'll they're- say who cheated on their husbands while we were in Vegas. Oh, my God. It's not going to be me. I swear. <laughs> I'm not married yet. Oh, yeah. You can I do whatever you want. Husband. Do you know that there's a group of people that Just we kidding. know? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That was a joke. Do you know there's a group of people we know right now that 
still believed for the longest time that bachelor and bachelorette parties were to like cheat. cheat? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's people we know. What do you mean? Well, I'll just say who it was. Z. Oh, <laughs> well, he's never had a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. But he's like, oh, I thought you actually like were supposed to fuck around on those. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's not a crazy thing to think. Yeah, I know. It is kind of funny that it's like your last hurrah. It's like, I wish I could have known my last hurrah. My last hurrah would have been like the weekend before meeting Luke. Yeah. That would have been a nice time to have a last hurrah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I I also wish I had many more hurrahs the yeah, summer like before I really met Joe. Yeah, it's really not your last hurrah. It's like so you are like so as, far gone past your last hurrah. As much committed as you could possibly be without without the paperwork. The paper. Yeah. So, that is kind of unfortunate. Well, but <laughs> that is it's okay. Of- like that's okay. It's a tea. You it's can still flirt. Remember, we established you can flirt. We the can flirt. Party. And we're flirting at the bachelorette party. Yeah. 100%. I also want to just say right now. And I also kind of want Luke to do that, too. Yeah, as he should. Yeah. Like when Joe did a boob luge. Yeah, I love that for him. Yeah. I he did a beautiful boob luge through somebody's breast. It makes breasts. me nicely jealous. Yes. He can't actually hook up with anyone. But Yeah, no finger do, blasting. He can do a boob luge. Yeah, boob luge is nothing. A boob luge is just <laughs> a like. A boob luge, by the way. Just, boob luge is basically a hug. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, I was about to explain what it is, but, like, just use your No, brain. just Google a boob luge. No, but I actually don't think they can use their brains because is luge common? Is it oh. luge kind of, like, Canadian? Oh. Luge? Google boob luge. I don't feel like getting into it. Toboggan. Toboggan. Sled. Boob sled. Boob sled. Taking a shot or something. From okay, someone's... so someone puts something between someone's tits and they pour something down it and the guy takes the shot from between the tits. It luges through the boobs. Luke also did this thing where the bartender, like, he was supposed to like hold uh, the stem of a champagne glass yes. in his mouth. Yes. And the girl was, I don't get how this is hot in any way. I'm like, honestly, take it from her tits or what the fuck is this? Like, what, what is this baby? Wait, was this bird? in Vegas? Yeah. He he hold, held the stem of a thing in his mouth of a champagne glass and was up high. And the chick, the bottle service girl who was serving them, like was supposed to drink the champagne that he tips yeah, out of that's just like a game that's just like a like an agility game yeah, like that's, that's not sexy no like, that's nothing sexy about it and he did it and the champagne went all over her mouth. oh that's why because yeah. like guys like when girls faces get no, he covered didn't mean in- to do that he was like oh my god i'm embarrassed oh but was like i'm so sorry and there's like a someone was taking a picture and there's like a really funny picture of the girl just being like Ugh, like with champagne all over her face and Luke like with the stem in his mouth with his eyes wide like uh oh I did something bad uh oh I didn't but have... I am kind of like isn't that sort of the best case scenario yeah like, what the other what you were intending to do is just have her drink champagne in the most awkward way possible <laughs> and you're supposed to what get get off <laughs> You're supposed to be like, because men are competitive. You're supposed to be like, I'm the best at this. I can like tip this glass of champagne right. into and someone's mouth. To, like, stand My mouth is mouth so open. strong. Like that's what's hot. Yeah, like baby bird. Okay, at Sexy. least take like a body shot or something. Do something hot if yeah. you're gonna bother to interact with this chick. I guess. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. And we could take a body shot in Vegas. Yeah, but I don't want men's men's bodies are gross. Yeah. Okay, whatever. We'll, well see. Not my man, but yeah, some random man. I don't really want to be like around his belly button or anything. Is that what a body shot is? Yeah. And belly buttons are fucking disgusting. Especially men's. Yeah. Honestly, we can't even talk be about it because there's some people that have a real aversion to belly buttons. Erica. Oh. My friend Erica, you cannot even say the word belly button oh, without her like gagging. That. She gags. Luke doesn't like when I touch his belly button, but oh. we can talk about it. Them. Oh, yeah. No, Erica cannot have it touched. She'll puke. She'll oh puke on site. If you touch her belly button, she'll literally projectile vomit. Oh, I'm not like that at all yeah neither am i i was obsessed with my belly button when i was a kid what yeah like i always had to like i wouldn't let my mom put those onesies on me that were zip they had to have buttons because i had to have my belly button free to like touch it (laughs) there's like so many pictures of me watching barney and i have a bottle in my mouth and i'm just like touching my belly button (laughs) (laughs) i loved it wow that's adorable (laughs) I loved it. I loved it. I loved touching my belly button. <laughs> I don't really pay attention to it much now, but I'm definitely not a- adverse. Oh, no. I like mine. It's cool. We'll see. Anyway. You want to take a shot at my belly button? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'll do that. I'd love that. Honestly, what I want to do is put my whole face in one of your ass cheeks. Oh, okay. That's my favorite thing to do. Well, you could have done that yesterday at oh, my boudoir shoot. Annie, quiet. I thought, we'd, I thought we told them. We didn't tell them. We told them I was doing one. We did? Yeah. 
Okay, well, anyway. Remember I said, is Luke going to listen to this? Never. And then I was like, oh, I'm doing a boudoir shoot. And you're like, yeah, I know that. And I'm like, no, oh, I yeah. know we're on a podcast. Oh, yeah, Annie was doing a boudoir shoot yesterday. Anyway, it went well, Can't everyone. Can't see those photos, God damn it. Yeah. We'll post at least one of them. Come on. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, let's see. Well, maybe we'll I'll post see. One. I think we took some that are more normal, like that are sexy, but they're Wade not. Wade like might good. post one. And then so we're allowed to re, and yeah. then we can repost yeah, it he's, he's onto doll space. Yeah. Beautiful. Last thing before we log off, I just want to let everybody know that when I arrived here today, my mom, who's a fucking psychopath, was like, Sam, there's a dead bird in the front yard. I've been waiting for you to come get it. And if you know my mom, you know that every time I come here and my dad is away, there is a dead bird that she needs me to pick up. Does LV kill it or it's just dead? Okay. So one of them LV killed yeah. and knocked to the bottom of the stairs over there. Oh. <laughs> off the patio okay so my mom's like i can't keep looking at this dead bird you have to get it that one was like a little like sparrow like mm-hmm. a tiny little bird it took me to mentally muster up the strength to get a garbage bag i had an oven mitt on garbage <gasps> bag and she's watching me from up here and she's like come on sam don't be a pussy and i'm like you do it and she's yeah. like no i couldn't i can't do stuff like that annie when i show you the video of what happened today it's I was screaming, screaming in my driveway because there was a robin whose legs were up. Robin's upside down. Robin fell right on its like, I don't know. And my mom, I'm like, mom, I can't even look at that. And she's like, no, no, no. This robin was 100 years old and (laughs) and died of old age. So and it's perfect. she She knew that. And it's been there for two days. Now here in Toronto, we have a coyote problem. So she was hoping a coyote or a raccoon or some other larger creature might handle Take this but no it's completely intact legs up wicked witch of the west style <laughs> so i get here today and she's like sam oh my god okay i've been waiting two days for you to come and this is how she like manipulates me she's like well i've been waiting for you to get here to do this like <laughs> i've been leaving it for two days because i was waiting for you oh, and i'm like well you didn't tell me that and there's absolutely no way i can do that i'm sorry like that is fucking yeah. absurd do you have like a shovel okay so she gets we do have a shovel mm. but the way this bird was we get closer it's headless okay like just take the body who was this was this a cat take the whole thing (laughs) damn it so i look at it i'm like no she's like okay sam come on you can hold the bag and i'm gonna put it in the bag with a hockey stick (gasps) and i'm like absolutely not you do not it's gonna fall on my hand what you're gonna slap shot it into the bag like you don't play hockey and she goes i'm from molten Okay, I got this all on video. I was picturing her putting it, like, balancing. Okay, so I don't help her. This was actually extremely impressive. I'm hiding in the driveway. She's around the corner where this bird is. She's screaming. I'm screaming because everything I see is like, she's like, Sam, get back here. She's screaming at me. Neighbors are walking by. A woman walks by, goes, is everything okay? (laughs) I go, everything's fine. My psychotic mother. And meanwhile, I'm like being like the most anti I'm like, this is not for women. Women don't do this. Like we're literally screaming. This fucking chick walks by and she's like, is everything okay? My household, it would be me over Luke. Oh, th- no, 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 no. He's more squeamish than me. Okay, Annie, you would do this? No, his dad would do it. Yeah, I was yeah. just going to say, you call someone, you call like a his fucking... Dad would do it. I am not dealing with a dead animal. I cannot. Anyway, like a mouse in a mouse trap, I have dealt with before, but it was the worst day of my life. And I quickly passed it off to my boyfriend, Stu, mm-hmm. who cheated on me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Maybe that's why. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> She got it with a hockey stick. Oh my God. So this woman lifts it up. She's holding the bag with one hand. She gets it balanced perfectly on the hockey stick. And she's like, Sam, uh, uh, uh. she like can't breathe. Like she's like disgusted. She's like, and I walk over because I'm now hiding. Why didn't you use a shovel? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It would have been much more secure. It was not secure at all. She was. No, it would have been more secure. Yes, of course it would have been. She was balancing it on this hockey stick. (laughs) Why do we have One-handed. a hockey stick? No one here plays hockey. Yeah, true. I don't even know. She's like, from Malton. Yeah, this is Canada. Like we all have hockey sticks <laughs> randomly in our garage. Like for what? Yeah. She puts it kind of in the bag, but it's like not getting it. I have to show you the video. It was the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then we get inside and she's like, thanks for nothing. Like you, you're a pussy. Like, you're like, <laughs> Oh my god! I need. To oh my god! It. But what did she do with the bag? Just threw it in the garbage. Oh, we put it in the green bin, and mm. which which I don't think you can do. It was a garbage bag. I'm like, she's like, no, the bags from Bruno's go in the green bin. I'm like, they absolutely do not. And she's like, well, how come people do it then? I'm like, because they're 
doing it. I don't it. think they go in the green bin, but you can use the bags as the container for your green bin. Yes, perhaps. But this bird is in a garbage bag in our green bin and there's nothing we're going to do about it. Like I mm-hmm. told her, I'm like, why don't you just take the bird and maybe huck it onto not the road, but the road adjacent. A different maybe not patch a, of grass. A different something. a patch of grass close, closer to the road. And maybe then a coyote would see it and say, yum, dinner. Like, let yeah. the circle of life happen here. Like, let Make this bird's life worth something. Yeah. But she's like, it's already headless. It's going to fuck Did Elvie it. do that? No, this oh. was in the front yard. Elvie oh, okay. couldn't possibly. And honestly, I think the robin, honestly, it seems like just fell out of the it sky. It was 100 years old. It was 100 years it old, died of natural causes. Because I was like, yeah. mom, I can't even look at that. I'll cry. And the worst part is, last night I was walking home from the Air Canada Center and I stepped over a dead pigeon that also... <gasps> just fell from the sky Ew. i know it fell from the sky because i was under a bridge <gasps> so it clearly was just dying and then fell from wherever it was perched oh. under this bridge and i was like could you imagine i was walking and that thing hit me in the head and you already have it i would be in pitching. therapy so nothing has sent me to therapy so far <laughs> i would be in therapy so fucking fast for that you and you have a Phobia of puking and you would puke immediately. I would puke immediately. I'd be horrified, puke, have to shower. Like, oh my God. Like when that pigeon shot on my head when I was on my Minimally way. have to shower. Yeah, like get fumigated. <laughs> like when that pigeon shot on my head on the way to Clinton's. Do you remember that? Yeah. I was walking to work. I was working at Clinton's where a bunch of people there bullied me and I remember all of you. But anyway, I was on. <laughs> well, name me on the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, the Patreon. You're getting fucking ousted, Jeremy. This is one long ad for the Patreon. Sorry, this episode actually like was kind of shit, but like our Patreon, maybe we'll be good over there. Tune in to find out. Yeah, I feel like we're going to be really good over there because we feel messy. (laughs) Anywho, um, I was on my way to Clinton's and a fucking bird shit on my head. And I had I got there at seven and was there till four in the morning with bird shit in my hair. What the fuck was I going to do? I was already there. Like, I'm going to turn around and go home and shower. That's what I would have done now as an adult. I'd be like, sorry, fire me. I don't care. Like, yeah. I obviously am not working with bird shit in my hair, but I did. I worked the whole shift with bird. Well, some might argue is, unhygienic. It is really crazy that we aren't all walking around with bird shit at least once in a while on our heads. Like, when you think about how many birds, it's like crazy. I think I've been shit on like once by a bird, which is pretty crazy. That's really good. Years. Like, yeah. And considering I'm, they're around, like they're not random. No, that's and really it's good. it's kind of funny that we're not always getting shit on. Oh my God. Do you know what I did for the first time in 31, 32 years? I got pulled over by the police the other day <gasps> no because way. I ran a red light. No. Yes. Sam, that's and, bad. No, I didn't run a red light. Hold on. This is actually. Says the girl who speeds in a school zone. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do you know we pulled over? So me and Joe are arguing. What are we arguing about? Whether or not the police are doing enough about home invasions and taking cars. Okay. Oh my God. And Joe's like, they pull you over. You're like, you know what? I was just talking about you. I have some shit. To say. Yeah. And Joe was saying all the right things. Like he was like, you know, it's a way more complex issue than people think it is. Like everybody just thinks the police are doing nothing, but they're doing a little bit. But there's there's just a lineup of people that are willing to steal cars. And it's not as easy as just locking people up. OK. Right. And I'm going, so what? The option is to do nothing. And he's like, I'm not saying that. And I'm like. No, I'm just asking you. Like, you're getting defensive. And sometimes this will happen with Joe, where I'm asking a normal question as a response to his argument. And he's Mm. like, no. Like, I'm like, no, no, no. This is called a conversation. Heard of it, jackass? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he's We're not, like, up before a judge in court. Like, yeah. yeah, No. So, anyway, he's going to listen to this and be like, this is not how it went down. And maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I'm tired. (laughs) But anyway, right. And this is Sunday. Sunday drivers in the city can eat my ass. There was a police officer right behind me. I clocked him earlier, forgot about him in a matter of seconds. So he's literally right behind me. We're making a left turn. And anybody that knows, and this is why this went well for me in the end, but everybody knows this is the most fucking brutal thing to do. Yellow light, or sorry, you advance into the, you advance. Yeah. Oh, is it LV? No, it's not LV. It's a squirrel of sorts. Don't worry. The squirrel won't come near us. We're in an atrium. Okay. Yeah. Um, look, don't worry. Elvie will get it. Yeah. I love my dog. Yeah, go for She's it, She's such a good girl. Anyway, um, like, you know, you you advance into the intersection when yeah. you're turning left. Yeah. I'm behind a car that advances the tiniest bit. <gasps> Hate that. Okay, so already I'm pissed because I'm like, now I'm not in the intersection. And if I were in the intersection, I'm I going. I would have to get out of it. Exactly. On, even on a red. Yeah. Advances the tiniest bit. Lights yellow. No cars are coming. No one's crossing the street. Mm-hmm. The light turns red and it goes. Now, when the light turns red, I'm so fucking fired up. Joe's fighting with me. It's probably all his fault. I beep at him. And then my gut instinct, because if a police officer wasn't behind me, my gut instinct would be to just gun it. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm turning left with you. There's two of us. Mm -hmm. Two of us are allowed to go. Mm -hmm. You're a fucking loser. You waited right till the light turned red. And I'm on his tail. Like, we're going at the same time, basically. Mm -hmm. So literally, as soon as I do that, 
where are we? Because it's right behind me. Yeah. So what, you did end up advancing up on the red? Fucking yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, I went yeah. right through. I turned left. I was like mm-hmm. pissed off. I was so mad yeah. at that guy. But, and now meanwhile, in my head, I'm like... I'm, I've also done that so many times. Oh my God, yeah. who hasn't? So mm-hmm. that's why... I think this police officer was kind of chill because he pulled me over and he was like, okay, so, and I'm like, oh no, I know. I know what I did. The light was red. And he's like, and you were behind the line. And I was obviously smart enough not to be like, well, I was behind the line because the guy in front of me didn't advance into the fucking intersection, (laughs) which is what you're actually supposed to do when you're turning left. Right. But I guess that's not illegal not to advance into the intersection, although it should be. That's ridiculous. Like now we're all fucking waiting on a Sunday because you're a dumbass. Anyway. But I didn't say anything. I was smart. I kept my little mouth shut. I was like, Good. I'm so sorry, officer. It's just that I, I just got a little bit scared. And Sunday drivers are so scary. <laughs> and he was like, okay, license and registration. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Luckily, it's in my fucking thing. Glove compartment? Glove compartment. Because otherwise. Aren't they all? They, thank <laughs> God they are. Because what? Where else would they be? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how they got there. Daddy. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Shouts out to Daddy. Anyway. Um so whatever he's like in the car for a while and we were on our way to go see a house so we were like running late and i was like and then he came out and he was, was like Joe mad at first he was mad he was like sam and i was like he's like that was so stupid and then i was looking at him i was like joe this is the first time i've been pulled over by the police in my life okay and this let me tell you something this is not the first time I've advanced through a intersection right. like right. that. So I was due one. So I was due for one. I'm sorry. I don't yeah. think I did anything wrong just because you were in the fucking car the time this happened. Like you've done this before too. Everybody's right. done this. It's not yeah. like I fucking. But, she, but then what he was laughing about later, he's like, no, no, no. But you knew there was a police officer behind <laughs> you. And I was like, but I forgot. I was too busy arguing with your dumb ass. Right. About whether these fuckers are doing enough to home for home invasions. Right. So sorry, <laughs> asshole. Anyway, then he was busy like pulling you over. Yeah. And then I was like, have you ever been pulled over? And he's like, of course. And I was like, well, then. Yeah. You're allowed one or two. Exactly. So he wasn't mad. He was mad for at first. And then he was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I was like, good. Because- Especially since it's a bit different than running a red in a traditional way. No. Right. No. Like you're in an intersection like left. You know that there's first of all, everyone always knows that there's like overlap there yes like, and there also is a delay on purpose for the walk signal yes so that no one gets hit exactly no i've i've done it before i'm a safe driver i've actually never had any problems driving yeah. so everybody can just shut up and it's all okay yeah and you probably learned a lesson i did learn a lesson i yeah. learned not to get caught again because next time i get to merit points <laughs> and uh did he say fine- that yeah, he actually, great guy, just gave me a warning. He's like, listen. What, no ticket? No ticket. Come on. It would have been $350. He was like, listen, we all That's do it. so nice. He knew it was a Sunday. He knew I was a good chick. Yeah. And, oh, it did help. Sometimes it is nice. It did to help that I have a clean record. Yeah. I've been driving since I was 16. I'm 32 now. Is that yeah. double? That's half my life. Yeah. I've been driving half my life. I have never, ever, ever had a problem. So he yeah. probably looked and was like, okay, this chick isn't a fucking stunt driver. Not yeah. like Annie over here Uh-oh. who has stunt driving. That's driven. my only time getting pulled over mm-hmm. was speeding. Yeah. And so I guess that would be on my record, but. Did you get a ticket? Yeah. Okay. So that would be on your, but I think they expire after a while. That's good. I didn't get any points. That's really yeah. good. Because the so. points are what I'm worried about. Yeah, exactly. Or like a suspended and My ticket license. was only like 120 bucks or something. Yeah. Um, That's fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. You can stunt drive and get a hundred and twenty dollars. She lessened it. Oh, that was nice of her. Yeah, she. I was stunt driving. I just was hectically over the speed limit in like, buttfuck nowhere, which happens. It's because I was on the highway for hours going one twenty. Yeah, I was going one twenty, and I didn't realize I was on these country roads where no one was, and I didn't realize I was still going. Oh, heavy. <laughs> I was still going almost one twenty, and. I didn't know the speed limit was 80. I thought it was like 100. So I was yeah. going 120. Yeah. And there was no one around. And I it wasn't even, it didn't matter that there was no one around because I, the problem is I just didn't know the speed limit and that was just dumb. Like, yeah. And the bigger problem know. is the speed limit's that way because like if you fucking hit a moose. Well, that's what she was saying in the end because she was like, okay, you obviously weren't like endangering anyone, but you endangered your self and your friends because if I were in the country if a deer or mo- anything like decided mm-hmm. to come out on the road and you're going that fast you're gonna kill all your friends and I was yeah. like <gasps> yeah it really scared me so it was nice because I learned a lesson huge lesson from that mm-hmm. and luckily no one got hurt and she lessened my ticket so I was going like 40 over yeah and she acted so like, like I was 20? going like 20 or 30 which that was nice because was- she's like you know I want you to not be mad at me I want you to like know this lesson more than like fuck you and she was like 
technically I could bump this up to stunt driving, which is 50, mm-hmm. I think. And I was like 40 something. Mm-hmm. So I think she could like. Yeah. You know, that was a good cop. Just know yeah. that she was like, I could take you. your car because stunt driving, they could make you get out and take your car from you. So she told me I was stunt driving. But then she was like, it's fine. Just pay this like hundred dollar ticket and don't kill your friends in the future. And I was like, I literally you changed my life. Yeah, seriously. Talk you were about rattled. a cop doing some good. That was a cop doing some good. You were rattled. I, I res- really respect her. And she was mean. Yeah, she was like really bitchy, but I respected it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, she did like bad cop, good cop with herself. Wow. Because she was like so mean at first and then so nice in the end. Oh, because I was being like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, well, no, you're not. <gasps> And I was like, and Emma, Emma's in the passenger seat. And she's like, okay. And I was like, Emma, shut, shut the fuck up. up. Oh, yeah. Emma is so spicy. It's yeah. out of control. And I Emma's- was like, well, yes, I am, officer. <laughs> it's just really scary yeah. being in the country. Oh, yeah. She also chirped me about being from the city. And I just had to take it. I was like, you're right. I'm a fucking elite liberal snowflake. <laughs> Send me to jail. And then she was like, went back to her car for a while, made me like sit there and cry. And then she came back and was like, okay, just pay this ticket and get out of here. That was was really effective. It was really effective. I think of it all the time. I wish we knew that cop's name so we could send her like an edible arrangement. I know. I did kind of want to write to her and be like, you're doing good work out there. You really, because you weren't trying to get me in trouble because like those are the rules and you have to follow it. She was like, I don't want you to kill your friends. Yes. And I was like way to really appeal to something i care about yeah which is that over rules that you made up like you actually told me why i shouldn't speed yes not just because it was the rules yes which i like which i like so that's a little bit of something we wanted to talk about (laughs) driving and i'm about to get on the road now back to st Catharines in peak rush hour on the thursday before a long weekend (laughs) when everyone has tomorrow off and I'm about to take the 401, which I'm guessing everyone else and their mother's going to take. And it's a beautiful day and probably people are going to their cottages. But you know what, Sam? What? I'm going to get bellies. <gasps> are you? I'm so hungry. I honestly think that's why I wasn't funny today. I, I'm so starving. And I came here and I clocked bellies and I was like, oh my God, when am I ever up here? Bellies is this, it's called Belly Buster Submarine. <laughs> and it's a really, really good sandwich shop that's so nostalgic for me because like I grew up up here too. Yes. And uh, I would only get it like when I was uptown. Well, it's like a very high school thing, but I never get to eat it anymore. And I went, you know what? I'm going to get some bellies for the road. Oh my God. Enjoy yourself, Swister. <laughs> Try and guess. Try and Sweetheart guess. sister. No, no, no. Even weirder. Sweetie. Not sweetie, but another word with a W. It's not a W. Queen. Queen, yeah. A lot of queen, but it didn't sound. Queen and sister. Sween. Okay, Swister. <laughs> okay, Swister, you better get on the road. I will. Before this traffic gets worse. I feel like we've been recording for so long. We have. I'll figure this out. Okay. Oh my God, I forgot it was a long weekend. Yeah. Fun. Fun. Okay, so sorry. I feel like we gave some advice. We only answered two questions, but we answered... They were longies. Yeah, they were long, and so am I. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, maybe we'll record on Sunday and... Yes, and don't forget to write in at www.dollspace.com. Yeah. Doll with a zero. Sorry. (laughs) We're so sorry. Okay, bye. Okay, love y'all. Love Love y'all. You always check out before the YouTube is done, but it's okay. It's okay. How much, how long was that? I, I just edited it. I no, like- I'm just saying like, you don't say bye in a normal way on the YouTube, so the video ends when you're just like not even on screen. <laughs>